actress, host, and executive producer Miranda Cosgrove and series co-executive producer Nicole Small are here this morning to share a sneak peek of the new season, Mission Unstoppable, airing weekends on CBS, and they're going to highlight why representation in STEM matters today. Good morning. Welcome, you two. Nice to have you on Great Day Hollywood. Good morning. Thanks for having us. All right, so Miranda, what can viewers look forward to in this new season of Mission Unstoppable? Talk to us about that. Yes, season seven. I'm so excited. Um, there are so many awesome things this season, but one of the things I'm really excited about is we follow a high school robotics team as they create this really awesome robot, and then they actually nice. take it out and compete against other schools with it. So that one's just really cool to me because I know if I was in yeah. high school, I would totally want to be a part of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I want to be a part of it anyway. But And then also, we're learning about the science behind making cheese, which is really fun. Oh, cool. And then I think Nicole has her own favorite. Oh There's so many fun things this season as we go into season seven. Um, one of my favorites is actually um, we follow a women's pro soccer team, and mm. we talk about the team behind the team. Everybody loves sports, and I think everybody follows injury reports on the weekends with football or soccer, whatever your favorite sport is. Yeah. And we are going to be highlighting all of the amazing people that keep these teams on the field whether it's um, physical therapists or orthopedic surgeons oh, nice. or data scientists. There's so much science and tech happening in sports right now. So that's one of the things I'm most excited about this season. I love that. I love that this show is so educational for all viewers that tune in and watch. And by the way, after seven seasons, is there like a story or moment that stands out the most to you both? Um, for me, meeting Kat Echezaretta, she's the first Mexican-born woman to go to space, and yeah. she's just so inspiring and incredible. And But I have met yeah. so many incredible women in STEM getting to be a part of the show, so <laughs> it is hard to pick one, but but yeah, mm -hmm. it was just it was incredible getting to meet her. I mean, I always say that's like asking me who my favorite kid is, and you can <laughs> never say that publicly, so I can really can't answer that question, but I can actually tell you that like every day we're having a moment. Yeah. Um, you know, our social channels, we've got over a million and a half people on CBS Unstoppable. That's and so awesome. every day, because of the way, obviously, we live in this day and age, we're getting feedback mm -hmm. um, from people who, parents who are loving watching the show with their kids, kids who are, you know, really seeing somebody that looks like them on TV, and they're getting mm -hmm. excited about maybe pursuing a different career, um, kids who've gone to college and pursued a STEM major that maybe they wouldn't before. So for yeah. me, it's not a particular episode. It's like the whole thing and all the things that are happening every day um, when kids are getting excited because all of a sudden science like looks really fun, right? Mm -hmm. And whether you're interested in sports or music or curing cancer, there's something for you and STEM is literally everywhere. So for me, it's kind of like every one of those moments. I must say, I've watched the show, and I really enjoy the program. Miranda, Thanks. it's so nice to have you as the host. Uh, you know, tell us how you got involved with Mission Unstoppable and what made you want to take on the job of being a host for this series and represent science in a whole new way for young kids out there. Well, for me, there was never a show like this when I was little. So as soon mm. as I, I heard the idea and I, I found out I could be a part of it, I was really excited from the start. But yeah. I will say that it surpassed kind of my wildest to, like dreams for the show just because um, now I actually get to see firsthand girls coming up to me and telling me they watch the show and that they oh. they want to actually pursue nice. a STEM career. Yeah. Um, so it, it's just it's amazing to get to be a part of something like this and also mm. just to make science fun. Like mm -hmm. this show is so much fun. My dad watches the show on <laughs> Saturday mornings. He like never misses an episode, and he's learning about science. I learn about science getting to host it. So it, it's just it's fun and it brings it to everyone. Yeah. I love that. By the way, Nicole, how do you hope young audiences will benefit from seeing women represented in uh, STEM? Well, I mean, I think I think that, you know, having kids everywhere see anybody that looks like them doing something that they can be passionate about is a great mm -hmm. message, right? So, you know, our whole MO is if you can see it, you can be it. And so, mm -hmm. you know, it's like we said, it's really important that all kids everywhere see these amazing STEM careers. I mean, we really yeah. um, are thinking about building the workforce for the future. And as we know, we're surrounded by science and tech. And every day there's some new technology, some new AI thing happening. And so we want you know, all kids to get really interested, engaged, and excited on how they can use those tools, how they can build those tools, and like what is their thing they're passionate about that they might be able to go out and change the world. So that's, mm. that's what we're hoping happens with the show. 
Absolutely. By the way, before we wrap things up here, Miranda, uh, your new Netflix movie just released titled The Wrong Paris. <laughs> uh, so can you tell us about the film real quick? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, it's so much fun. I play a character named Dawn, and I have a, a hu my character has a huge dream to go to Paris to art school. So she joins a show that's a lot like The Bachelor oh. to try to get to Paris and make some money, and she uh -huh. finds love instead. So uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's really fun. And I love rom-coms more than anything, so oh. it was a really cool experience. Well, it's nice to see your partnership with Netflix there and with CBS with this incredible educational Thanks. series, Mission Unstoppable. Tell us, ladies, where we should go to learn more. Well, um, you can see it on Saturday mornings on CBS. You can also see us on all of our social handles at CBS Unstoppable. So we hope that everybody who's watching today will join the million and a half people who are already watching and already following. And um, please tell us, you know, how you feel about the show and how excited you are and how it's changing your life. We'll have all the information below for viewers watching. Miranda and Nicole, nice to meet you both. And by the way, Miranda, I have been a longtime fan of you from Drake and Josh to iCarly. I have followed you uh, for <laughs> quite some time, and it's actually nice to finally get to speak with you and meet you virtually. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thanks for watching, and thanks for having us. <laughs> Absolutely. My pleasure. You both take care and have a great day. Thank Bye. you. Nice Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you as well. Take care. Bye.